And my biggest fear, honestly, was, let's say this, let's say, uh, I don't care if you believe in God or not, I don't care. So this, this is play a game with me. Let's say, let's say you're God. And we have a big fucking long line of people. And I made to heaven, I'm 75 years old, I'm 300 pounds, I made to heaven, I worked for Ecolab my entire life, spraying for cockroaches, that's what I did. But I'm dead, I'm in heaven now. And you are at, you're, you're judging us all now. So we're in line, we're all sitting there in line, and I'm next in line. David Goggins. I see my name. I see all this shit. And God goes, hey, you say, read this, man. And I'm reading this list and I'm seeing 182 pounds, Navy SEAL, Ranger School, motivational speaker, changing lives. Okay, man, pull up record, all this shit. And I'm like, that's not me, man. And God looks at me and says, that's who you were supposed to be. And my biggest fear, I, I visualize some crazy shit. My biggest fear is that one day I'm going to reach a judgment of my life. Someone, something is going to judge me what the fuck I was supposed to be in life. And what I want now is that whoever's judging me, whoever's judging me up there, I want them to have a board and them up there right now getting their pin out. I want this person up there to be like this, up there writing more about me saying, fuck, I know you, should, I, I know you can do that. I, I know you can do that. So I want to impress whatever the fuck is up there, whatever's going on in life. I want to go up there and not have anything left on the table. If you want to be great, you want to be the best motherfucker ever at what you do, you're going to be misunderstood by everybody because you're going to be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. That's the truth. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of fucking people. It is. But if you want to fucking go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, question everything you fucking do, you, you've you arrived. I mean, you are misunderstood to the point where fucking people think you're psycho and you're nuts and you're this and that. Why are you in the fucking gym at 1 o'clock in the fucking morning? You just got through doing an op for fucking 13, 14 hours after ranger school, man, at the gym. What's wrong? You will never understand what is wrong with me. And that's why I'm so fucking glad you don't. Because I'm in the right fucking spot. When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. Where people are like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? I don't want to talk to you, man, because you're not going to get it. A lot of times I'll be in a tours at my run or something like that, and I'm all jacked up. Body's broken, mind's broken, spirit's broken. I started to say, what if I could pull this off? When I first walked into the Navy SEAL recruiter's office, he looked at me and said, there's only been 35 African-Americans in 70 years make it through. You know what I said to myself? What if I can be the 36? It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle? What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? And just that, just me talking about that, I have the hair going up on my arms because it makes me just like, what if? I went, I walked a mile. I said, hmm, maybe I can walk one more mile. Maybe I can walk another mile. At mile 81, my ex-wife looked at me and said, you're not going to make the time. When your mind knows it's not going to quit. And this is what I found out. This is my 40% rule. When your mind knows it's not going to quit, your body will adapt to whatever is in front of it. I ended up running 20 more miles. I did 101 miles in 19 hours and 6 minutes. And that one day changed that one 19 hours. It wasn't SEAL training, it wasn't Ranger School, it wasn't Delta Force, it wasn't any of that crap I went through. It was just 19 hours and 6 minutes that forever changed my life to know that we as human beings are capable of anything. And we don't need any special kind of parents or tools to get there. So I'll end you with this. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop.